Hi, I'm Joseph with Software Academy. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate installing Python and Pygame for Windows. The machine I'm using today is running Windows 10, but the installation will be the same for Windows versions 8, 10 and 11. If you're running a machine on Windows 7 or older, you should probably consider upgrading as Windows 7 is no longer supported and therefore won't receive security updates from Microsoft. So let's start the installation of Python now. We'll open the start menu at the bottom left by clicking on the Windows icon and then we'll type in store we should be able to see now the Microsoft Store at the top of the list. So once you've located the Microsoft Store, let's click on it or press enter to open it. We'll give it a second to load up. And when it's ready, we'll click on the search bar and we'll type in Python. We can then hit enter to perform the search and we'll see several different versions of Python being shown here. I can see them in order of how recent the version of Python is. So we want to get the one with the highest version number. So from what I can see at the current time of recording this video, that is 3.12. Once we can see that, let's click on the page to open it and I'm presented with this get button down here. So we'll press this get button and it will begin downloading and installing Python for us. And we just need to wait patiently for a few minutes for this to finish. So we can see that's now installing and we got a notification at the bottom right of our screen saying that Python 3.12 just got installed. So that's all we need to do. We can now close down the store and we can check that Python is installed correctly by coming to the start menu once again and we can now type in IDLE. This is short for the Interactive Development Learning Environment. And this is what we will be using for working in Python initially. So if we click to launch this, we'll be presented with the shell window, idle shell 3.12.5. So at the top here, we can see the version number of Python that we've installed. Excellent. So the next thing we need to do is install Pygame. We can type in import Pygame into our shell, followed by enter. And we can see that that gives a red message back, module not found error. No module named Pygame. So this indicates that we don't have Pygame installed in our system yet. So let's close this down for now. What we need to do next is open a program called Command Prompt. So once again, come to the Start menu and we'll type in CMD, short for Command. At the top there, we can see Command Prompt and we want to just click on this to open it. And we're now ready to type in the command to install Pygame. So we'll use PIP, PIP. PIP is the package manager for Python and it lets us download additional resources and modules for Python. So we're going to type the pip install command. So that's pip space install, another space followed by the module name that we want to install. So in our case, that's going to be Pygame. So I'll press enter to say I want to run that command. 
we can see that it starts saying collecting Pi game and then begins downloading it. You can see it's approximately 11 megabytes there and it's now installing it for us. So it's given us a successfully installed Pi game message there. And it then returns to a, a flashing cursor, which indicates that it's completely finished and it's ready to do another command. So that's our Pi game installed. We can now click the X to close the window, or we can type exit and hit enter again. So let's now confirm that Pi game is installed correctly and usable in Python. And we can do that by launching our start menu again, typing in idle, I-D-L-E, and there we can see idle at the top that we installed previously. So we'll click on that. It will bring up our shell window, I-D-L-E shell. And once again, we can type in import pi game. And this time we should see a success message, which we do. It says hello from the pi game community. And it gives a link to the pi game website. So once you have that message, you're all set up and ready to go. So we can close that down and that's us ready for our Python course. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Take care. See you soon.